Hey, I'm Lamont. I'm a psychotherapist, Tai Chi instructor, and I'm making this video to see if you're up for taking the 10 day stoic challenge. There's three components of stoicism that we'll be focusing on with this challenge. The first component is seeing all the challenges that occur in your life as opportunities. And, you know, in reality, in reality, challenges abound. It's part of the human condition is challenges just come at us. Right. But if we see those challenges as, as opportunities that empowers us to, to feel as if we can take advantage of this opportunity and overcome this challenge. And then lo and behold, a new challenge will emerge. Guaranteed. Another component of seeing everything as an opportunity, seeing all the challenges as opportunities, is you want to work with your mind and don't complain, right? So I mean, don't complain out loud. That's one thing, but also try and not even complain in your mind, which is a challenge. It's worth doing. Okay, that's component one. Component two of the 10 day stoic challenge, moderation. In Stoicism, you need to be strict with yourself and cut others slack. So how can we be strict with ourselves when it comes to moderation in this modern world? Number one, think about being moderate with your screen time. Think about reducing your social media um, efforts. Take a break, go on a social media fast, go on a media fast, go on a news fast. Take a break from that stuff. Right now I am on a media fast and I have not looked at any social media or the news for the last three days. So push back on the social media, on the screen time and find moderation. Because you know something, when you find moderation, you are now in charge of it rather than it being in charge of you. Whatever that it is, whatever we're addicted to, <laughs> we wanna be in charge of it instead of it being in charge of us. Find moderation, find the will. Another aspect of moderation that you may want to explore is periodic fasting. So that's working with your physical diet. The moderation with the screen time, we're working with our mental diet. It's also good to work with the physical diet. And the simplest way of periodic fasting is just give yourself an eight hour window a day of where you can eat whatever you want. You can feast for those eight hours a day. The rest of the time, don't eat. It's a great practice. Third component of the Stoic Challenge. The 10-day Stoic Challenge is to exercise. And that can be walking or whatever type of exercise you enjoy, or you can work with optimal breathing, which is something I've been taking on over the last 10 days. And I am trying to do as much optimal breathing as possible during the day. And every night I'm journaling about how I did with the optimal breathing. Actually, I'm journaling in the mornings about the, the day before. And so I'm gonna describe optimal breathing to you real quickly. And what it is, it's using your lungs optimally. And as you're breathing in, your ribs expand underneath your armpits. And then you wanna lengthen the exhale, lengthen, 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 end of exhalation, pulling the stomach in, squeezing out all the CO2. Breathing in, stomach expands just slightly. Then the ribs expand all the way around. Breathing in. Exhaling. And the ribs come together. End of the exhalation, pulling the stomach in. Optimal breathing. See how much optimal breathing you can do in a day. I'm shooting for 
50% of the day to being, being engaged with this optimal breath. Even though I haven't gotten there yet, I'm moving in that direction. And through perseverance, who knows, I might get there in a week or so. So join me on this 10 day stoic challenge. The rewards you will receive is your, you'll have much more clarity in your mind. You'll have more will and you will feel better and more inspired. So join me. Thank you very much. To become more involved in the HeartMind Center, join our community and explore our membership options. Also, check out our podcast, MindFlow Radio. MindFlow Radio. <laughs>